Hey, what's up there guys? Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile and the Galaxy S8. And today we're going to show you how to clear the cache on Samsung's phone. So a lot of Galaxy S8 users ask this question. Clearing the cache can be done a few different ways. You can clear the cache for apps or you can clear it for the entire phone. Now what is the cache or cache or whatever you want to call it? It's the device temporarily saving information. So every time you launch Instagram and a bunch of those videos auto load for you. So when you're scrolling your feed, videos automatically play. They're temporarily stored on like the cache for that app. And the similar thing happens when you update to big things like Android 8.0 Oreo. And some of those eventually start to take up too much space or slow down your phone. And a lot of guides for fixing problems with the Galaxy S8 says to wipe the cache of the device or apps. So here's how to do it. Go ahead and pull down the notification bar, tap the settings button, and there's a few other things you can go into device maintenance and storage and do it there, or just go to apps. It's kind of the easiest way to do it. And then once you're in apps, whoa, that took way longer than expected. Find an app here that you think might be draining some of your, your stuff, like, you know, a game like Clash of Clans, or go find, you know, Instagram. So let's see if uh, our Facebook, for example, that one's using 500 megabytes of data. It's almost a half a gig, probably because there's just tons of videos. So then tap storage. And then in here, you can clear the cache, which will clear a ton or clear data. So a lot of those like videos and photos and everything kind of temporarily are being stored um, in Facebook. So go ahead and tap those. And I have just cleared the cache on the Galaxy S8 with Facebook. Of course, don't clear data on all of your apps because this will kill like login information and save settings and stuff like that. So you, you do have to use some caution, but basically just hit clear cache and that kind of cleans out any you know app that you're running and if you're running into any issues that'll kind of help you out you know i got my dj dji app go ahead and tap storage clear cache that gets rid of some of those temporary files so that's how you do that for apps very simple now to clear the cache on the phone itself is a little bit more involved so go ahead and turn off the galaxy s8 and what we do here is hold a couple of buttons down and do a button combination to boot the phone into like a safe mode and it's actually you know you boot into recovery and then once you do that you can clear the cache. You do have to be careful here because if you click the wrong thing, you can delete your entire phone. So you're going to hold Bixby and volume up. I'm going to turn the phone sideways. Push and hold Bixby and volume up and then hold power. So now I'm holding all three Bixby, volume up, power, and just keep holding for a minute. And let go and you see this blue screen with the Android logo. It'll say it's installing a system update. A couple of things will happen. We'll have to wait a little bit, and uh, when this is done, we can move on. So no commands, I'm just kind of tapping buttons, waiting. Give it a little bit longer. It's, it's basically searching for software to do an update. And this takes about 30 seconds, kind of give or take. And there you see after about a 30 second wait, you get into this Android recovery screen. Now this is kind of a sensitive area. You can reboot the system or if you can see that on screen, there's, you know, reboot the bootloader and, you know, apply updates from ADB or, you know, from the SD card. And then you can wipe a couple of things. So use the volume buttons up and down to control this area and then the power button to select. So I'm gonna tap down, remove bootloader, apply updates, apply updates from SD card, wipe data, don't do that, it'll erase your entire phone. Wipe cache partition. Now this is something that will kind of clear out all those remnant files from you know the whole last year you've owned the phone or all the software updates, monthly or bigger. Go ahead and tap the power button to accept that. Yes, I want to clear the cast partition. Click that again down to go to yes. Click the power button to accept. Done. Super quick, super easy and it has wiped the cache partition. So now the phone will default to reboot system now. Go ahead and tap that power button again and that is it. My Galaxy S8 will reboot. The cache partition is clear. There's a little bit of space freed up. Some, some of those potential problems you've been running into are gone. But that's it guys. Quick look at clearing the cache both ways for the phone and apps on the Galaxy S8. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and click some of those videos in the top corners for similar videos. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.